Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I got my Chromebook in the mail. I bought it off uh, eBay um, for about 130 bucks about a week ago. They're still going for about $169. Uh, this is actually the C7 version of Chrome uh, book, and it's actually the C710-2847, uh, but people call it C7. So what's good about this is it's got two gigabyte, two gigabytes of RAM, and it's got 320 gigabyte of storage. Uh, what I plan on doing with this is is uh, installing Ubuntu, and uh, to be exact, it's Ubuntu 12.04, uh, and uh, I'm going to install that on this. But there are a couple of steps you have to do, and I'm going to break it up in a couple of videos. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a image of my operating system uh, on a thumb drive uh, like the one you see here. It's got to have more than four gigabytes uh, of storage space. It's going to completely erase it, uh, but you're going to put your whole Chrome OS right on this so you can back it up. If you ever run into problems, you just stick this in, you hit the reset pin underneath, and uh, you can uh, recover your operating system. Uh, it erases, you know, files like pictures and things like that that you have stored on the drive, but you can recover everything else. So uh, to install Ubuntu, it's a custom. It's a custom version uh, of Ubuntu. It's called Chrome Ubuntu or, or Chrome Ubuntu, and um, it's going to be pretty nice because it's an actual operating system instead of just being like a Chrome OS, you know, Chrome browser. And uh, you probably can do a lot more. I'm new to Linux and uh, I want to learn more about it because uh, there's a lot of things that you can do and I think my YouTube channel would benefit uh, if I knew how to run those things. So let's get started. Uh, if you go to the Chrome page here, how to recover your Chromebook, uh, they give you detailed instructions about how to do it and what it's all about. And then they'll tell you for your particular Chromebook how what to do. All right. So basically, they pretty much tell you just to go to the uh, type this in your browser here, Chrome semicolon forward slash forward slash image burner. Once you hit return, you get to this page right over here, and all you have to do is just put the thumb drive, the USB thumb drive storage right inside an available USB right on the Chromebook itself and you stick it in and basically it's going to tell you that all the files are on my USB stick so we hit OK it's going to extract the recovery image it's just going to take a few minutes and then after it does that it uh, actually puts it onto the USB drive so uh, with Ubuntu operating system which is pretty nice and uh, this is guaranteed to be the first step and then uh, I'm going to be making some videos on you know, the whole process and uh, it's going to be very up to date there are new links to the operating system and uh, I'm going to put it all in my videos so make sure you subscribe and it's basically this easy and then all you do when you recover if you ever have a problem when you turn on your Acer Chromebook and you get uh, you know operating system missing or whatever there's a reset button uh, if you go to that Chrome page that that web page that I showed you um, this one here it'll tell you how to do it for your specific device uh, and it tells you exact steps you know what to do with the thumb drive that you put in there USB thumb drive so let's wait for that to copy now right in the tab, right on your Chromebook, and it's about 1.4 gigabytes. So once that goes, I'll uh, remove it, and then we'll start with step two in the next coming video. All you're going to see is just a you know, congratulatory uh, part of this page, but I'll fast forward. Okay, 
it says your recovery media is ready. You may be removed in from the system. So we're all set. We have our thumb drive. We're gonna remove it from the system. And we're gonna set it aside in an important place in case we have problems. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the next video, which will be setting uh, your device into developer mode.